Okay, so this is my first video looking at the sign rule. And the thing about the sign rule is that when you're working with a sign rule, you must make sure you get a pair of information. So if they don't give you a pair, then it's not going to work. Now the sign rule is A divided by sine of capital A, because we're going to call the sides capitals, or sides little letters and the angles big letters, divided by B sine B equals C sine C. Now, that's all well and good, but actually, you're never going to use all of that. The only bit we're ever going to use is this first bit, okay? So don't worry about that third bit. You can just pretty much ignore that. Now, that means that when I come to do this, I have to pretty much look for my pair of information. So over here, I've got my angle of 74 degrees. And I've got the side opposite it, which is 8. Now, really, there should be some units there, but it doesn't actually matter as long as you realize there should be some units because distances have units just like angles. And then I have a second angle, and that enables me to work out this missing side, the missing side that I've labeled x. Now, if I wanted to work out this missing side, I could always do that by going, well, this is a triangle, 74 of 52 taken away from 180 is going to give me this angle, and then I've got that pair. So there's lots of ways of using this, okay? I always go back to my original formula like that, because that's the way I'm going to write it down. So I'm going to write down that 8 over sine 74 equals x over sine 52. Now, in that case, I'm going to then rearrange this by taking the sine 52 over the equals. It's a divide by there. So when I move that over the equals, it's going to become a multiply. So I'm going to end up with 8 times sine 52. And then I'm going to divide that by sine 74. So I've got 8 sine 52 divided by sine 74. That's going to give me the missing angle x. So on my calculator, that is 6 to 2 dp. Okay, so x equals 6.56. Now, that's the basic sign rule. I'm going to do another video in a second about working out the angle. I would always make sure you go back to the original formula and then rebuild from there, because if you try and jump to just straight doing this, you're going to get the numbers in the wrong order, but you'll also possibly not be able to do that in the exam when you're under pressure. So think about how to do the sign rule carefully, and there you go. And I'll catch you next time when we do the sign rule, working out the size of an angle.